All right, we got other news. You know, SmackDown's got something happening tonight, right? Yeah. They've been doing that white rabbit thing. And there was a QR code on Raw linked to the white rabbit. And it uh, essentially essentially teased that uh, whatever's going on with the white, white rabbit, and it has nothing to do with me going like this with my nose, by the way. <laughs> that was an irony. Whatever's going on with the white rabbit is uh, <laughs> happening tonight, September 23rd. Or it's possible the QR code was just celebrating my wife's birthday, but I don't think that's what it is. But anyway, <laughs> what is it? if you scan it, it goes like to Bed Bath and Beyond or something. No, it like goes that it goes to September twenty third, which is her birthday. <laughs> she but it's have a also wish list? it's also SmackDown in Salt Lake City, Ugh. and uh, and so nothing against Utah. Everybody figures, and I don't know what it is, but I figure as well uh, that Bray Wyatt is returning tonight. So we shall see what happens. I'm wondering if they actually, you know, coughed up the money for White Rabbit. Because there is now a White Rabbit t-shirt. So I wonder if that's, like, going to be his new entrance theme. And I wonder what kind of crazy idea the guy's got right now. And I want to mention one thing that, uh, you know, I don't want to go into too many details about it. But when, when Bray Wyatt was released, it wasn't just, well, you know, he's making a lot of money. I mean, there were... Um, health issues involved. And I don't know the extent of them or anything like that. But, uh, you know, the, the question is, what can he do if he returns? Like, can he wrestle? I mean, we've got the return of Soraya, who also had health issues, that being her neck. And uh, according to Dave in The Observer, she's not cleared yet. I thought she was cleared. She had, I think, done an interview saying that uh, she believed that she was good to go. So I would presume that, like, she feels, and they probably feel, that she's going to be cleared soon. But I don't know what Bray White can do physically. I don't know if he's going to be back as a, a character, a manager. Maybe he'll be managing Alexa. Maybe he can wrestle. I don't know what the issues were. I don't know if the issues were, like, you know, some people have issues that, ah, you know, a little while will be cleared up. Other people have issues that they probably should never wrestle again. I don't know what the situation is with Bray, but there was an aspect of that when he was released. So if he's coming back, I guess we'll see. What can he do? What can he do? I don't know. I don't even know if it's him. <laughs> May not be him tonight. It, who knows? But uh, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't recall him having, you know, issues. I, I, I didn't remember that after he was released or you know whatever. But. He's had a lot of time off, you know, and he's had a lot of time to think. Obviously, you know, Triple H did point at that, that one of the things about Bray Wyatt that's his greatest strength is that imagination. It's also can be. Can one I just of his say greatest... one thing? I, I don't want to. I just want to. I don't want people to freak out about this. I probably shouldn't have said. I mean, it is a health issue, but let's just say a lingering injury. Could... Well, it was something that uh, involved being cleared. It, I, I don't. And let, yeah. Listen, I don't know what it was. But I just had this feeling when I said health, else I was going to freak out about it. He had an issue with being cleared. And so that on top of a big uh, contract and everything, they released the guy. They were releasing everybody, okay? So I don't know what the issue was, and perhaps the issue cleared up months ago. Perhaps it'll never clear. I don't know what it was, but I just want to make it clear, like, don't panic. I mean, obviously, if he's back, it's not something to be panicking about. But uh, health issue is probably the wrong term to use. But it involved his health and clearance, so well, and, whatever and it was. Look, his physical conditioning was a, a question mark at times anyway. You know, it's not he's not a small man. He does not come from small stock. Rotundo, Wyndham, Blackjack, these were all very large men. Rotundo, Mike Rotundo, his father was deceptively big. So... You know, he's had a lot of time off to maybe also redo his body. To There are a lot of benefits to being off for a significant period of time, and it does obviously look like he's coming back. I don't know if White Rabbit is exactly the best theme to use. I think it's something where if you got some licensing on it, which they obviously did, they've got it for a short period of time at least, you can use that if you want the fans to rock back and forth. It doesn't seem like it would be the most dynamic theme music in the world, but then again, I guess we'll see. But I like the fact that they're dipping their toe back in licensed music. And I know 
and I understand completely the reasonings of why they don't, and I understand completely the reasonings of why they would never spend to go back for Iron Man, say, and then try to get it for all the Road Warrior stuff that's on the network. It makes sense why they don't. But there are times where it really does, really, really does make the production and the entrance and the memories better. Jimmy Valiant, the Road Warriors, there are uh, plenty of examples where the music was a big part of the act, you know, a big, big part. Jim Johnson's a good, done a good job with that. They've had good themes since at times, but there's nothing like a great song that everybody knows being able to be used. So good luck to him. And Vinny has driven all the way here. And his camera's now working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep. We go that way. Yeah, nope. I, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey, there he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.